this is my Power Mac G5 PCI Express model. And it runs Morph OS 318 dual screens. Modern Wayfair. I've shown this before, and it is a 2.0 gigahertz Power PC PCI 2005 model Mac that Mr. Matt 3K sent to me. And we've been conversing on the old Discord for a while and talking about upgrades for this thing. This is not a light pickle. This thing is probably 50 US pounds. Inside, we went over this before. I love the classic Power Mac design and artistic representation of everything hippie goodness that Apple was. Not anymore, but was. This is my favorite era of Mac. Now you're wondering, this massive thing is a heat sink. It's got a locking pin you pull up and it kind of take this fan out and slides forward. What are you telling me that for, Chris? There were three other models in horsepower of this model uh, sold from Apple at the time. The 2.0, which is this. The 2.3, 2.5, and liquid cooled 2.7. I can't find a 2.7. I've looked everywhere for a 2.5, but in Canada, I found this. This is a processor, 2.3 gigahertz, dual core for the G5. And this big hoss is going to go in here. Now, depending on the heat sink compatibility with this, I may take the chip off, which is just that circuit board thing right there. All the rest is heat sink and copper tubes and 16 pounds of goodness. You gotta unbolt them with these special Allen key top loading hex nut weird apple wrench things that are longer than any tool. So we're gonna start by removing the fan. There's a little pin right here that pops up and then you can remove the bit. This will pop up, and then you can pull it, and it's little... Uh, there we go. Pull that out. Lose the pin that you just had. You can see it just goes down and spreads legs. Uh. Now with the pin removed, this will slide forward and out, and I'll take the fan forward with me. There you go. That's where the air flow for the fan comes in. Sits in here. You can see how it snaps in. Now you're thinking... That looks vaguely familiar. And you would be right. That's a 2.0. I don't have to swap heat sinks or nothing. Now the idea is you should take them apart and do thermal paste. But we're not going to do that. Here are your bolts. I don't know which one I'm going to need, but I know which ones I brought. I know I used this because it's a regular screwdriver I ground in half to fit the G5 that you would go in like this and screw it up to it. You should do this with the thing face down because it's a processor slot. So as I go for the last one, just to make sure I can loosen them up, I'm going to take the final two screws out. That's just right here and here. Sorry for the camera angle. Magnetic tools are your friend. Until the screw, it does its dip it too much for the screw. Now the fun part inside of this hole right here is another one of these damn screws. That's where my girl came into play. And she still works. She still got it. Our second one is here. dangled screwdriver still works yeah it's a little oddball you'll see it twisting oblong in the socket but it works all right so with those two screws out I got two more little guys they're underneath of the fan thing then I gotta pull this fan module out so one two this will slide out of the way enough to go forward to show you those two screws. And there's a wire on the processor that 
plugs in right here. Or no. I don't know. There's some wire underneath of mine. Okay, with all six screws out of the thing, I'm going to slide this forward and this should lift right out. Oh, God. There's my 2.0. Wow, we. That's a heavy pickle. In its place, we're going to compare the two together. Compared. A little dust on this one, not on that one. This feels a lot lighter. Okay, now you see how my screwdriver goes into that screw and turns the head right there. That's why I needed that. So 2.0 and not 2.0. It has alignment pegs. You align it on. I'm going to start with the two screws and the fan case in the back that have the temperature sensor wire underneath of them. Two. Now I put my fan back on. Just goes into this channel and then click locks in. There we go. Now we just have the two long catchers here do first that'll actually pull the CPU down onto the card mm -hmm. then I can use my normal tool put in the other screws I wanted the 2.5 I'd love a 2.7 they were water cooled with xylene or some very corrosive liquid and they all leak the hoses blow out if you have one that doesn't leak pull them out drain that crap and replace all the liquid we're done now cosmetically we're not done you have your fan and your shroud in front of it all right so it goes down here these slide over this thing that slides over that this slides over a pin and here there's another pin that fell off on this one and we'll just See if we can slide it back. Now I'm gonna put my safety final ball cocky locky thing in there and then the pin that locks it in place. That way it won't slide back out. There was a fourth metal thing on there that uh, fell off. So find your keyed dude and it just literally will slide right into place. And then you can put your plastic back on. You need this on or the photo cell will be exposed. Your fans will be on turbo if it does. Super power cord. Alright. This is either going to work or it's going to blow up. I'm going to see something awesome on here. Do we get fan spin? Does it work? Power Mac noise that it usually doesn't make. 2300 megahertz. Did you see that? Booyah! Fastest video ever. We are running at 44 degrees communist on the old Richter scale. Where's your second monitor? Remember what I told you last time about Morph? How you gotta jump them to the other screen? So if I open up, I don't know, Wayfarer, and I wanted it on the other screen. So there's a little contextual menu at the top. You click, I went over that before, right here. Jump to screen and you say next or second screen and pow, it'll just show up over there. Boink, there it is. So a little bit of different brightness on the monitors. I gotta set the brightness on that one. I keep that one down because that's my main monitor and it just, this one's nice and warm now. So there and uh, that's it. And I can go back and forth and uh, go over here or do things and type things and then go here and see my SMB info and and there's my Amiga files on my Xserve server. What about all those cool demos? So it's holding at 59.3.
And I can still be browsing the web over here while I'm watching a demo. Modern SSL. Uh, Google, I'm watching a demo on one and working still on the other. That is so cool. Look up. Now that's all black and white. There's my YouTube page on one. So let's go again. Work, demos. Guys from Encore do a great job on these demos. They are so much fun to watch. And this power PC is kick ass for morph. This is a registered copy. I don't know my number, I forget. Just a really great job. The colors on this are just incredible. My crappy camera does not show you the clarity of this and the popping colors that it has. Maybe it does, but I don't think so. Very vivid, bright colors. And this can run Amiga demos too. Like, it can run Amiga demos. But this is an Amiga demo, like a 68K demo. And it'll play it just fine. I just have to zoom in so you can see it. There you go. Full screen Amiga demo. Sorry, my, I wouldn't move my mouse and my screen's ever kicked on. <laughs> I'm gonna close that on this page. So that is a 68K demo. I don't know enough about that to make them bigger, but I have the Chrysalis pack, the latest Chrysalis pack for 3.18 that gives you the E UAE config, um, like your graphics test, you can benchmark, crap, it's a Radeon X1900, uh, there you go, tells you on this little graphics test what she is, so she's a Power Mac 11.2, Morph OS 3.18, uh, we're running a G5970MP multiprocessor. 2300 megahertz. These girls are a great source of heat for your home in the winter. This one runs okay, but if you let these run a long time, boy, do they get hot. That graphics card gets toasty too. Now, I had an issue with Iris. I'll double click on it. It'll load on my second monitor. Where I was going to do Google. Let's see if they fix this. So, this is my Google Gmail. I have Dual factor authentication. So if I click sign in with Google, Wayfair should ask me to sign in. All right? There's my next. And I should have to open the app on my phone. Paste my password. I typed it in. Okay, perfect. They fixed it. Open the YouTube app on my phone. And it'll say, is this you? Yes, it's me. Yes, guys, you are awesome. So we got my mail. Iris wants your junk. Enjoy. You may close this window. Boom. Oh, look, here comes all my Amiga repairs. It's IMAP. I hope... How much mail do I have? How many Amiga repairs do I have? 556. Not bad. <laughs> All right, your system has been updated. Reboot, it says. So we'll click shutdown, reboot. There's no Fs given on your setup. If it says reboot, boom, she just reboots. Cool, huh? So that is my latest Morph OS quick video on a processor swap, G5 2.0 to a 2.3. I'm still looking for a 2.5 or a 2.7. If you got one and you want to sell it in a reasonable amount, let me know, shoot me an email. My email address is in the about me of this YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. 
Otherwise, I'll keep scouring the forums and the Ebays and the Matt 3K pick brains. That's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.